Hey everyone, in this video, I'll show you how to create your AI voice cloning for free. I'll walk you through the whole process along with some extra tips. So make sure to watch the video till the end. First, go to the Google and search for Pinocchio. This is a browser that lets you install one and manage any server applications. Click on this website. You need to download it and you can download it for Windows, Mac or Linux. I'll go with the Windows and the download is started. Once downloaded, extract it and start the setup. Once installed, it'll look something like this. Click on discover and here you can see all the available tools that you can install. But what we need for the voice cloning is called E2F5 TDS. This is our required application. Click on download and install. Good thing about Pinocchio, it will automatically install all the required setup and tools one by one. So you just need to sit back and wait for it to complete the installation. Once installed, it'll show up here. Click on it and the application is getting started. If you get stuck at some point, then press this refresh button. Alright, this is what the application looks like. First, you need to upload a reference audio. It can be your own voice or any voice sample that you want to replicate. Make sure the audio is less than 15 seconds. Now I have 5 different voice samples of my own. I'll play one for you. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create an animated character with your voiceover. So let's get started. So you need to have multiple different voice samples that you can try and see which one works best for you. Let's try sample 1. I'll simply drag and drop it here. Next you need to provide your text. I have a script here that I'm gonna use. I'll copy and paste it here. Next you've got two models here. E2 is the older version, so make sure to go with F5 TTS. Next click on advanced settings. Here you can provide the transcript for your sample audio, but that's optional. Click on remove silences. Now these two settings are very important and you need to go through trial and error to find out which values works for each of your sample. I've saved the values that works for each of my sample. So if I go into my folder, it's 0.9 and 0.09 for sample 1. So I'll set this to 0.9 and this one to 0.09. After that click on synthesize and it'll get started. You can see the progress report here and the time it takes depends on your computer specs and the script length. Alright let's have a look. If you want to test your logo then make sure it has the following qualities. Number 1 black and white, convert your logo into black color with a white background and check if your logo still looks classy and attractive. After that invert your logo colors to make sure that the details are still visible as before. Number 2 responsiveness, your logo should work in both horizontal and vertical orientations. Number 3 scalability, show your logo in different sizes from a large logo like on a big paper to very small like a social media icon. The logo should still be clear, recognizable and readable. And it sounds really good. Click here to download it. And if you don't like the output, you can either regenerate it. But I'd suggest you to click on the refresh button and go through all the process again if you want a new version. According to my experience, that gives better alternatives. Now we just tried the text-to-speech, but you can also try multi-speech option, where you can provide two different voices of two different persons and generate a dialogue. Next you have the voice chat option. The process is the same so you can explore these options on your own. So that's it guys, please like and subscribe to my channel for more helpful videos. I'll see you in the next one, have a great day.